You guys, this right here is probably my biggest personal collection retail cop that I have gotten in a very, very long time. I was surprised I actually hit, but it seems like a bunch of you guys hit as well. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys ended up getting a W on these sneakers. Always remember you guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, tell somebody you love them today like I love you guys. And always remember, no matter what you guys are going through, at the end of the day, the day's gonna end. Let's go ahead, let's get into this video. Yeah, yeah, he got kicks. I like switch. I don't miss. Don't do bricks. He got kicks. The kid is sick. Team with raw rock. What is up YouTube? I'm He Got Kicks. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell that we get all the notifications every time I drop one of these bangers for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the share button, do all those great things for me. Follow me on Instagram at the real He Got Kicks and of course the hat page Perfect Brims and TikTok He Got Kicks 95. Shout out to today's commenters, man. Appreciate you guys engaging with the content, being positive with the content, and of course making this a safe place for sneakerheads to come talk and just chill. But today's video, guys, what we are talking about is a sneaker that I was shocked to actually hit on, and it seems like a bunch of you guys hit as well. Again, you know, hey, let me know if you guys ended up catching a W on these sneakers, but I actually hit this time for the first time in a long time. I hit a retail personal pickup i was very surprised i ended up paying the high a long long time ago ended up actually selling that one to somebody you know for what i paid for it that wanted it uh and i was like you know what i'll take my chances as it gets a little bit closer it paid off for me it definitely paid off i'm kind of surprised that it actually you know this time it worked out in my favor uh letting somebody get something for what i paid for it so definitely definitely you know happy that i was able to do that so again as always let's go ahead let's get into it and again thank you guys for everything let's see what this pickup is <sighs> all right you guys as you guys can see right here we do have that nike box right here and again take it out now i did see where actually somebody had posted where their you know sneakers actually got stolen unfortunately by their uh delivery driver which i i can't even fathom the amount of rage that i would feel in that moment because you know once you get a w on something you really want and then it just gets taken from you yeah i, I don't know if uh that would not be uh, the most pleasant of moments that's for sure and as i mess up of course pulling the uh, pull tab off i've done that quite a few times but i do see why they uh whenever they do get stolen they take it out of the bottom because that's a lot easier so let's go ahead and pull it out falls as you guys can see, we got that brown Nike with the brown swoosh and of course the cream box. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG SP in the medium olive black sail muslin colorway. Style number is DM7866, color code 200. Wow, I can't believe, again, this is a nine and a half. I go down a half a size in Travis's and Air Jordan 1 Lows. So again, hey, y'all already know what it is. So let's go ahead and open up on the count of three, one. Two and three. And here you guys have them, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Medium Olives. These right here, again, I did buy a pair a long time ago whenever they first started hitting, you know, the early market and everything. But I was like, you know what? I'll let somebody get them for what I paid for it and I'll take my chances later on because you guys know I do love Air Jordan 1 Lows and I do love Travis Scott 1 Lows. So was actually really surprised to get the got them on this one, but they do come with pink laces and black laces, even though this cardboard is already uh, basically popped open and everything. But uh, I think I'm probably gonna keep the white laces in on this one uh, just cause I, again, I like to match the tongue and really you could do red or white uh, would match it. They don't have an olive uh, lace. So yeah, I'll probably just keep that uh, white lace in there, but definitely crazy to actually finally get uh, a personal size of these for retail. That is absolutely fire. I'm super happy about that. The only one that I ever hit for retail was the OG Mocha Low. And, uh, you know, I sold that one because it was a half size too big. So then I had to go pick up my size nine and a half. And yeah, that was a whole lot more. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But definitely, definitely super happy to again pick this up for retail. I love Travis Lowe's. I love Jordan 1 Lowe's. 
and to me they're just super comfortable and easy to wear and yeah, i actually really like this colorway seems these have completely tanked though in price which is a good thing for people that do want to get them now again it is a travis scott and if you guys look at the history of every single travis scott that has ever came out uh they always end up going back up uh right now nine and a half is 432 last sale 591 uh again 477 you know a lot of last sales right there in the high to mid fours just that one 591 is the big outlier in the nine and a half uh but again i think this is a good shoe i think uh, 10 is a size a size 10 is 455 last sale 662 jesus christ uh there's a 501 uh 653 october 3rd uh, there, it seems like there's a ton of these just being sold hot now again everybody are getting their pairs the last couple of days in on the mail uh, so that could be it too but i'm just kind of curious where those like huge last sale numbers are coming from because good lord that is 650 is insane but definitely i'm glad i was able to pick these up but again man hey let me know in the comment section down below if you guys pick these up let me know if you guys got a w of course on the release date because you guys already know usually travis's are really really hard to get but i did see a ton of w's and a bunch of gotems and everything on my timeline on instagram so shout out to everybody that ended up getting a w on these definitely happy to grab these glad to add these to the collection especially for retail that is big i paid a whole lot of money uh for the first one and now i did not i paid you know 165 so i'm definitely super happy about that but again man let me know in the comment section down below ton of great things about this one I love the suede, love, of course, the cactus jack, love, again, the backward swoosh is something that is really, really big on, of course, Travis Scott sneakers. It's the thing that really kind of pulls it apart. And of course, the cactus jack on the back and everything you do have, of course, the wings logo on this back. And a lot of people are saying the sale killed this. I, I, I don't ever mind sale. I don't. Uh, I do like how, of course, no white bottom, got the green bottom. I think all in all, this is a great sneaker. I love it again happy to have added it to the collection and of course put it in there for retail that you just cannot beat that you cannot beat a retail dub again i'm just kind of curious how many of y'all actually hit i'm super curious because again this is just one of those ones that normally you don't see that many got them. there was more of these uh but again for it to be a lot of people that i knew it was kind of surprising so again let me know in the comment section down below as always if you guys took a w love you guys appreciate you guys as always take care of yourself take care of each other just wanted to of course unbox my sneakers w for you guys we've already done the review and everything like that so definitely shout out to you guys appreciate you guys thank you guys again hit that like button hit the sub button ring that bell love you guys again i'll see y'all in the next video peace